Phyllis, my main, my main worker. What's up? I think we have carpal tunnel syndrome. <sighs> Phyllis, Phyllis, no, 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 Phyllis, you don't have carpal tunnel syndrome. What? But I type all day, and my Phyllis, hands feel funny. Phyllis, look, honey, I don't want to hear it. I, you don't. So I just go back to your desk, and it'll, it'll be fine. Take some Advil or something. Fine. Just, you'll be fine. Hang in there. All right. Do I come in? Yes, Michael. We have a slight, slight situation here. Phyllis thinks she has carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay. Uh, I can't handle a work-related injury right now. I just can't. I mean, we're still recovering from that incident from last week, and David Wallace is on my on my back about our branch. All right. Ph- Phyllis, Phyllis would lie about something like that. I know, I know. So what I need you to do is uh, find some information to prove that she doesn't have carpal tunnel syndrome. Can you do that for me? I am on it. Okay, man. I'm trusting you. You're my right-hand man. All right. I can't have a work-related injury right now. I mean, we're just getting back into favor with corporate after that whole mess last week. Yeah. Hey, I need some copies. Hold on. Michael left his speakerphone on, and I'm listening to his conversation with Dwight. They're trying to prove Phyllis doesn't have carpal tunnel. Why would he do that? I don't know. It seems kind of strange. It's like they're trying to hide it. Corporate... Probably doesn't want any more work-related injuries. Yeah, you're right. Michael has been bragging that we haven't had any injuries like the past week. But that's not fair to Phyllis. Let's do some research. On it. Fact. Four out of ten work-related syndromes are fake. People pretend they have syndromes that they don't have. They see them on TV and they try to relate it to their work. The work ethic in this country? Subpar. That's why I have a farm. Fact. Hey, there he is. Michael. Phyllis clearly did not have carpal tunnel. Alright, what'd you find? Nothing. Uh, nothing about carpal tunnel. But I did find some stuff about Scottish Gamekeeper's Thumb. It's pretty interesting. It's not a work-related injury. Um, well, unless you're Moe's. But that's irrelevant. Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. I asked you to get information on carpal tunnel syndrome. Not this Gamekeeper's Thumb. I think it's pretty important. I'll investigate. Phyllis! Phyllis! What do you want, Dwight? I hear you're having pain. Where is it? In my hands. Where is it exactly? Be more specific. Well, it's tingling and then So now you're changing your symptoms. You're lying. I am not! What? So I found some interesting stuff on PubMed. There's these clinical signs that predict carpal tunnel. It's called a clinical prediction rule. Hey, I found this clinical prediction rule thing. Oh yeah, I found the same thing. Wayne, you and call it the whole thing up. Yeah, that's the one. Their clinical prediction rule is a positive likelihood ratio of 18.3. That's pretty good. We should give these tests to Phyllis. Sure, yeah. sure. Hold still, Phyllis. I want to see if you have carpal Stop tunnel. Stop it, Dwight! I live on a farm. I know what I'm doing. Dwight. Oh, you live on a bean farm. That's beside the point. <laughs> we found something, so you don't have to cut her open. That's irrelevant. Stop it, Dwight. No, it's not. Phyllis, how old are you? 46. That's rule one, over age 45. You don't have to broadcast it. It's okay, I'm not going to tell anyone. What, what happens if you shake your hands? Does the tingling go away? Yeah, actually, that makes it a lot better. That's rule two. So let's, let's measure your wrist. That's greater than 0.67. That's rule three. Phyllis, can you feel this? Yes. How about this? Not really. And that's rule four. Phyllis, fill this out, please. What is it? It's a symptom severity scale. Okay, I guess. Good thing we got to Phyllis before Dwight cut her open. Yeah, we make a good team. Almost like we're physical therapists. All done. All right, let's score. It's a 2.1. Rule 5 is a score greater than 1.9 in the symptoms vary scale. Phyllis, you probably have carpal tunnel syndrome. False. 
The specificity for all five symptoms is 0.99. There's no doubt. Hey, there they are, my hard, busy, working beavers out there. What's going on? Michael, I need to go to a direct access physical therapist. Oh. Oops. Phyllis, Phyllis, I thought I told you that you don't have Michael. a carpal tunnel. She likely has carpal tunnel. And what gives you the authority to say that she has carpal tunnel syndrome? Well, Jim and Pam found this research with a clinical prediction rule. It has a specificity of 0.99 and a positive likelihood ratio of 18.3. And I met the criteria. Um, what criteria? Well, she's over 45. Shaking her hands relieves the symptoms. She has a risk ratio greater than 0.67. And she has a reduced median sensory field of the first digit and a score greater than 1.9 on the symptom severity scale. So what does that mean? Well, it means she almost certainly has carpal tunnel. I told you, Michael. Oh, crap. So Phyllis has carpal tunnel. Why can't I get a sorter so I don't have to work? 